Want to streamline your business calls and never miss a lead? Well, today I'm gonna to help you do just that by showing you how to set up an AI receptionist with GoToConnect, including how to build a dial plan with a dial tree that helps you route callers exactly where they need to go. In the meantime, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more business content. When you navigate to admin.goto.com, here's a look at your main dashboard. Now, GoTo offers multiple products, so you'll see them all here. But today I'm showing you how to set up your GoTo Connect AI or virtual receptionist, as well as the dial plan customization. Setting up your AI receptionist is about a 15 minute process to create an identity, set up a conversation flow, add escalation rules, and then testing it. When it comes to what your AI has access to, it's actually two resource fields, your knowledge base and an information capture. First, I'll show you how the built-in knowledge base works. This is a collection of information that you actually copy and paste over to the AI. This gives you control over what the AI knows. So in this example, we have one for dermatology, like doctor information, location, hours, and services. It's just a matter of inputting the text and what the AI should have access to when it comes to feeding information back to the caller. As mentioned, the other resource that your virtual receptionist has access to is the ability to capture additional information from the caller. This allows your AI to learn and understand who the caller is and why we're gathering that information. The software will also send you as an administrator an email of that contact card so that you can perform that human outreach to the caller. So with those two types of resources, you are ready to set up your AI receptionist. In this example, we'll use Sutton's receptionist. I thought it was pretty cool that you could create a bit of personality for your AI. For example, you can choose the voice model and you can choose the tone. When it comes to introducing conversation flow, you can configure these abilities. For example, do we wanna capture information from our caller? What knowledge should your AI have access to when it comes to providing information to an inbound caller? What are our frequently asked questions? When it comes to call transferring, who should we be transferring those calls to? So your escalation rules. We also have your interaction rules. I found this to be a good way to tailor your AI to your personal preferences and dictate how it converses with your callers. For example, if you click new interaction rule, you'll see it's simple here to create one. You can add things like avoid complex words or be specific about a particular topic. Lastly is your escalation rules. So for example, if a caller wants to dial an option to skip the AI entirely, they have that opportunity. So you may be wondering, what does this experience look like for your callers? Do they know that they're speaking with an AI receptionist? And yes, that's something that can be configured in your dial plans. Your dial plan is where you can generate that rule and that caller experience. So I'll show you an example by pulling up the one with the AI. With our blank canvas here, we can map out our dial plan. For example, do we want time of day routing? If we have time of day routing, we may want our callers to be prompted initially with a menu where they can dial and pick and choose their experience. Now with this menu, this is where we can leverage our text to speech. So one of the options could be if you would like to speak to a virtual assistant, press one. Same as I showed previously, you can specify what voice model you want here. So with that set up, we can go back to the dial plan. If a caller wants to speak to a virtual assistant, they press one and that sends them to the AI receptionist. The AI is then going to take that call using the knowledge base that you provided to it. Now, if for whatever reason, the AI can't answer that question, the system can treat that as an error and push the call over to a physical employee. But overall, your rules on how to interact with the AI all depend on the dial plan and what structure you want to provide to your callers. So that was just a quick look at GoToConnect's AI receptionist and dial plans. One last thing I did want to call out before signing off today is that the software can actually provide analytics on your calls. So you can see when callers are hanging up, how often they're switching to a live representative, and how many calls your AI is actually resolving. From there, you can adjust your AI to make it as effective as possible. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.